Hey, which Nintendo console is the best one of all time? And what movie franchise just needs to go to sleep and stop bothering us and go away forever? Well, Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another fantastic edition of Nope Sorry, the debate show where I, Jeff Bacalar, argue with my friends and colleagues and sworn enemies over three rounds of dead serious discourse. Joining me today, a former friend, Mr. Nick Henry. How's it going? Nick? Yeah, we already ended our friendship before this episode. Right, so we have nothing to lose. All right, here's how the game works. Nick and I will debate over three rounds and we will be assigned points based on how well we made our argument. Assigning those points today, thank you for coming back. Abby Russell is here. Thank you so much for having me. It's exciting to finally be the one to wield the power here. It is. Don't let it get to your head. Not too late. Okay, it's gone straight to her head. We are the victims in this episode. Abby, what is the topic for round one? Well, as we all know, Nintendo has come out with many amazing consoles, right? But there can only be one best. What's the tippy tippy top of the best Nintendo consoles? You have 90 seconds on the clock starting now. Okay, it's obviously the Super NES, or the SNES for short. Uh, this was a generation defining console. It brought us Super Mario World, the best of the Marios. We all know this to be a true fact. There's no arguing that. Link to the past, Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario Kart? Can you name a more influential game-changing title in the history of games? You cannot. Uh, this, uh, this brought uh, Couch Co-op to the forefront. Mario Paint was a game-changer. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was the most uh, defining console of, of our young generation. Everybody, most All people right. chose... Oh, so, okay, I guess we're just gonna cut. So, you know, you're in the video game industry and you can use fancy words like couch co-op, whatever the hell that means. <laughs> but I'm gonna pick the Nintendo 64 because it will always have my heart. It was weird, it was fun, had all those wacky controllers that came in different colors as well as the console and people saw it, they're like, how the hell do I hold this thing? Well, you know what, Jeff? They figured it out and not only did those controllers work, they worked well. And they had all these insanely fun multiplayer games, up to four players. We had Super Smash Brothers, GoldenEye, Mario Kart 64. My parents played Mario Kart 64 with me. Did they play any other games? Hell no. And you know what? Even, even ripoffs like Diddy Kong Racing were fun as hell. They had freaking planes, no. hovercrafts, and There dog. will never be an N64 classic. There's a reason there's an SNES and then, classic. Just to your point, real quick Zelda Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, those are up there in the. In the all-time games. All right. all right, well, only one person can decide our fate for this round. Abby Russell, what say you? Yes, uh, it feels good. I just want to relish in the power for a moment. Just soak it in. Anyway, uh, I think both excellent points across the board. Jeff, a lot of great points, but a lot of just talk about how the, you know, the library of the SNES is great. Still very strong, but I will give you two points for that. And then you, Nick, of course, you talk about the versatility of the N64, the fun colors, and your parents are into it. My parents also played it. So three points for me for the uh, Nintendo 64. It's not my fault my parents aren't 40 years old. What is but that? But it is your fault that you only talked about the game library. Oh yeah, because there's nothing else important. There. Okay, fine, I'm not gonna argue with the judge that got me in hot water last time, uh -huh. I know better. <laughs> uh, Nick's gonna go first this next round. Abby, what's the topic? Well, as we all know, Movies are coming out left and right, and there are tons of franchises. Nobody ever makes originals anymore. Am I right, fellas? You're right, you're right, Abby. <laughs> Even this isn't an original, right? <laughs> so, what is the most tired film franchise out there? Once again, you got 90 seconds on the clock. Here we go! All right, I'm gonna get a lot of hate from this one, maybe even from our in-house producer, Brian, but I gotta, I gotta say Star Wars. Okay, I grew up, you know, being a fan of all the originals, including Return of the Jedi, because Ewoks get too much hate. They're mad cute and they have really sweet houses. But in the mid-90s, I don't know if you remember this, but they remastered the originals and they just added these horrible, like, PS1 graphics. They're and uh, that should have been the first warning sign that all Star Wars is is a gigantic money grab. And then after that, then came the Pod Racing Trilogy, and uh, that- wasn't a Pod Racing Trilogy! Well, it might as well have been the Pod Racing Trilogy, because we got to see badass Darth Vader as a little dingbat kid and a brooding teenager. I don't want that <laughs> Get that out of here. <laughs> now there's a new movie or a TV show or a Taco Bell advertising collab every other week. They might as well be Pokemon. 
thank you, Star Wars. Thank you for what you created, but I'm ready to move on and just see some more original ideas. That's a tough act to follow. I agree with you on pretty much every level there. I'm going to say just straight up, like, Avengers. Now, maybe more of the Marvel at large, but, like, there came a point when all these Avengers movies were coming out where I was just like, I don't even know which one I'm supposed to see next. You should never have to do homework to ensure that you're going to enjoy the film you're going to watch. It's ridiculous. It's confusing. What do I got to play catch up? I got to read all these guides on which movies to watch. What the hell's going on? It's freaking oh. billions and billions of dollars. It's the same money grab situation as Star Wars. <laughs> Let me live. Maybe just wait three years to release an Avengers movie. I feel like I'm bombarded. Just stop. Already. It is. It's exhausting, man. Oh, that was exhausting. Abby. Wow. That is exhausting. I will say, both of you, excellent job. Excellent reporting on both these very tired franchises. Oh, enough already. But I think Avengers, as you well put, you got to do a bunch of research to even understand what's going on. It's crazy. Star Wars, they're easy to follow. You know, you don't got to do anything. You just hop right in. But Avengers, oh boy, I don't even know what's going on. I don't know anyone's names. And that's why you win with three points, Jeff, and you are... Slowly behind with two. Okay. First, they let Josh Brolin play. I don't like play. the Avengers movies either. They were like Josh Brolin is like different characters and different. I don't understand. Yeah, it's weird. And there are like five different Chris's in all of them. There's yeah. a ton of Chris's. And they're all so freaking hey, good looking. There's too many Chris's. All right, five to five, round three, gonna decide. It's the rubber match. Is that what it's? Is that the right use of that term? I don't know these hockey terms that that's you're not, always no, that's a, that's a baseball thing. Oh, it's a ba I like baseball. Oh, great! I'm glad I got your attention. Uh, new word. New word. <laughs> Round three, Abby. Here we go. Ah, uh, yes. So it is winter time, the peak of winter right now, and there are some favorite winter sports. Not hockey, unfortunately, but mountain sports. We got thing for one one thing for both feet, or one thing for each foot. <laughs> Such a good way of putting it. That's how I describe it. That's how I describe it. Which wins, skiing or snowboarding? 90 seconds on the clock. Take her away. Okay, obviously skiers are the better people. Everyone knows that. Oh. My God, snowboarders are driving me crazy. You're carving up the mountain. You're pushing snow to the side so all the ice comes up. Nobody wants to go down the mountain after you've been on it because it's a ridiculous thing. I got to freaking go down like some sort of rocket-powered skier. It's enough. Stop carving up the mountain. You can't even get up the ski lifts, you're bunching up, the board's hanging from one foot, you look goddamn ridiculous. You're hopping along like some sort of bunny rabbit in the ski queue. Come on, get out of here. Nobody wants your junk. And, and when you guys fall, it is, who knows what's gonna happen? People could die, lives could be ruined. When a skier falls, the skis detach, you fall off to the side, it's not a problem. When and a snow and skis when barreling down no, the mountain. No, they got the catcher things. When a snowboarder okay. falls, you, that's, it could be it. So, good luck rolling the dice every time you ski. All right, let people. me start this. You're playing right in my hand. Snowboarding is for the people. Skiing is for the 1%. Get the f out of when here. When you think what of is... a skier, you just picture this old guy who just like valeted this Mercedes <laughs> G-Wagon. And then the, the whole day he just spends scoffing at other people that get too close to him. They're, he's just oh, like, oh. Yeah. And then I'm like, Mr. Skier, dude, relax. You got sleds strapped to your feet. You're going down a mountain. This should be fun. And he just looks at me and just goes, you're standing on my ski. Dude. And they're probably the reason for, you know, really expensive uh, snowboarding. Johnny Tsunami was a snowboarder, and let's face it, skis are the rollerblading of snow, and everyone knows that rollerblading is not cool. Good luck on a flat area, Mr. Snowboarder. I'm not letting you tag along and hitchhike on my pole, okay? And like, as if snowboarders pay, don't pay for going on the mountain. Judge, he's, going, he, he's going over the time. You're right. Uh, this is fine. I like, I like a little spice, though, so I'll forgive Thanks. it. She likes spice. Abby, skiers don't like spice. Decide this episode, please. So, I have to say, this was a close one. Really neck and neck. I'm kind of going back and forth on that final point, to be yeah, fully honest with you. That eraser is really going to work uh -huh. out. It's, there's nothing there. It's a nub. <laughs> um, anyway, I think you both made excellent points. I wish you argued more in the favor of your own thing versus just against the other thing. That's hard to do in skiing. I just something. like, you know, a friendlier debate, I guess, personally. Sure. Um, I think you made some excellent points about how skiing, they attach to your feet, they fall off. That seems like a safety thing, sure. I don't know, I haven't really done either. Snowboarding, you ruin a mountain, okay. I appreciate that. And then snowboarding, I was way on board. You have a lot of fun voices, which I liked. Uh, you talk about a fun character, which I liked. What I didn't like is you bashed rollerblading, and rollerblading is cool as 
So you lost the point on that one. Yeah. Jeff gets three. Oh, Nick gets two. Oh, if you didn't say about rollerblading, you would have won. I use my eraser because of that. Rollerblading, cool as shit. I guess rollerblading is kind of cool, but but skiing is not cool. It is. This cool. is true, and it is for the one percent. Rich people ski. What the? Well, cool people there, snowboard. Like snowboard. Honestly, somehow, rich people like, do both. Stealing ski lifts and like getting up there. Yeah, where'd you get that snowboarder guy? Where'd you get that snowboard and the helmet? <sighs> it wasn't free. All right. Is it over yet? It's over. I won eight to seven. This is not over. You and me. Oh, I'll be back, dude. Whew, I gotta take a breather here. Uh, thank you so much for somehow refereeing that very uh, highly contested match there, Abby. I did my best. Thank and you, I think you both did an excellent job. Like you did I said, a great job neck too. and neck. Excellent judging. Thank you so very much. Nick Henry, I'll shake your hand, but it's only a formality because I don't buy into any of this. I'm the winner. What did I win? Ooh, a flask. Oh, that's a good prize. Uh, guess what? I'm going to need it on the mountain with my bougie ass. <laughs> what do you got? You're going to John Walker Blue Label in here. <laughs> okay. <Yep. laughs> All right. Thank you so much to everybody involved in Nope. Sorry, I appreciate it. Uh, if you want to suggest a topic to debate for next time, do so in the comments section below. I guess I won't be seeing you on the mountain after all there, Nick. No, nope, we'll take separate ski lifts all the way up. I'll just peer into your back when we're going up. All right, you can just hop along like the cool guy you look like. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>